This Morning on KBTX News 3. Over the last couple of years, the beef industry has enjoyed extremely strong market prices. Those prices were easy to predict, based largely on the limited supply of cattle due to the liquidation of the U.S. cow herd that took place over several years during the drought. One of the concerns for the industry, knowing that prices would be going up, was the effect high prices would have on demand for beef. Shell Winkley has more in this week's From the Ground Up. One of the pleasant surprises, uh, really for the last uh, 24 months or so, has been the fact that uh, despite having record high prices at all levels of the industry, including to the retail level, uh, beef demand has held up very well given the level of beef production in the market right now. Per capita consumption is down simply because we're not producing as much beef, but the demand for the product we have is very, very good. Darrell Peel is an extension livestock marketing specialist at Oklahoma State University. In 2015, we added to that the challenge of the fact that uh, pork and poultry production has advanced significantly over a year ago. And so even in the face of those larger supplies and cheaper prices for competing meats, beef demand has held up fairly well. Peel points out that high prices for most products provoke additional production. With the improvement we've had in forage conditions in, in 2015, uh, beef producers will increase production and uh, high prices will cure to some extent high prices. As we go forward, uh, there's no doubt that we're going to rebuild the herd, we're going to increase our ability to produce beef, and that will push prices lower. Doesn't necessarily mean that returns go down. We're going to have more product to sell. We're going to have opportunities uh, to, to move into international markets in a bigger way. So I think there's lots of opportunity ahead. Peel says there won't be any overnight changes in beef prices. It takes time. Uh, the nature of ruminant animals is that we can't change those, uh, as cattle production in particular, we can't change those numbers that fast. And so while we're clearly rebuilding now and we're going to rebuild and we will eventually pr pressure prices, it's not going to be a real fast process and there's certainly no um, you know, major market crash on the horizon. Apparently in many homes, beef is still what's for dinner. I'm Shell Winkley looking at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is brought to you by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.